Hi all, in this video we learn how to make an Arduino based vehicle tracking system using GPS and GSM module. Most of the vehicle tracking system available in market are too costly. So I decided to make my own tracking system. The vehicle tracking system will send you the location to your mobile phone along with the Google map coordinate. You can request the location at any time and view the location on Google Maps that is installed on your mobile phone. For this project, I have to select a proper low power GSM and GPS module. So I selected A9G GSM plus GPRS plus GPS module. The device is very small and it can fit anywhere and can be operated using a simple 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. The board has a 32 bit ATSAMD controller from 8ML which can be programmed using Arduino IDE. After programming the board using Arduino IDE, the board will take some time for retrieving the location by fixing the GPS coordinates. You can then request the location by sending a message like typing a word location. Within a while, you will receive an SMS along with the Google Maps coordinate. You can also make this project using Neo 6M GPS module and SIM 800 or 900 module with Arduino Uno board, but this will make your device size very large. We will discuss in detail about this project, but for now without getting any delay, let's get started. So this is a low power A9G GSM plus GPRS plus GPS module integrated with 32 bit 8 mail SAMD microcontroller. Its front side and back side look something like this. The developer of N9G GSM module is AI Thinker. The model can be programmed via micro USB port and can be powered via 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. It has a switch to turn on and off. The digital input output pins are there which can be used to connect any other modules or sensors. A 4 pin port is shown here that is used for connecting an OLED display. Arduino has an 8-bit controller, but this has a 32-bit 8 mil controller which makes the device super fast. It has a voltage regulator IC to control the excess voltage. Similarly, there are two antennas as shown here. One is the GSM antenna and another is the GPS antenna. The signal program is not seen in this module because of its best design. You can insert a micro SIM here. Remember, this is a 2G modem only, so only 2G SIM can be used according to the frequency band. Just insert the SIM on the back side of the module. It has a micro SD port as well. You can also use an SD card to save the data in text format. The board doesn't need an external DC jack or higher power supply. It can be powered via 3.7 volt 1000 mAh lithium ion battery. Two battery port is shown here. One port is for battery charging and other port is for battery power supply. Once the battery is connected, you can slide the switch to turn on the device. Two LEDs are there which indicate the status of the power. The board is assembled and manufactured by Maker Fabs, one of the best startup companies in China. You can directly purchase this board from this official website. I will give the link in the description. Every info about this board is given here and it's well documented. You can follow the documentation part to know more about this board. Now, let us set up directly to the coding part. The Arduino IT doesn't have a pre-installed support for the SAMD board. So you need to add the board first to the Arduino IT. So go to the board manager and search for Arduino 0. So here is the 32 bit ARM Cortex board. You can install this board. I have already installed as you can see it here. On the hardware part, Connect the micro USB cable to the A9G ATSAMD board and also connect the other end to the computer micro USB port. Now go to the tools, here you will find the Arduino SAMD board. So from this list, select the Arduino 0 native USB port. Also from this list, select the COM port. So you can see the program here. It is a little bit different compared to other GSM, GPS module and Arduino boards. The AT command. AT plus GPS equal to 1 will turn on the GPS of the board. Similarly, AT plus location equal to 2 will retrieve the GPS location as latitude and longitude code. 
in the following lines we are sending the message to the particular number you can get the entire code from the website article given in the description so you can upload the code to the ATSAMD NING board the console window will show the following message after uploading the code open the serial monitor the serial monitor will display the initialization message if the location is fixed serial monitor will display the latitude and longitude if the location is still not retrieved the serial monitor will display checking module now you can send the sms to get the location so on your mobile phone open the messaging app and then enter the phone number of the sim used after that type the word location and then simply send it within a while the serial monitor will display the message received status and also tells about the date time and mobile number similarly we will receive an sms on your mobile phone with latitude and longitude coordinates along with this coordinate you will also receive a links to google maps you can click the link and open it either using google maps or using a chrome browser so you can see it's pointing to the same location where i am right now let me zoom out of google map and show you the more precise location thus this is really a great project and can be implemented in your vehicles for a vehicle tracking project it can also be used for controlling the theft of the vehicle or it can be used to find the location of someone who is using your vehicle the same project can be done using Arduino Uno board, SIM 900, 800 or Neo 6 GPS tracker module. An extra LCD is added to the circuit for displaying this status. The complete circuit diagram along with the code is in the website article. The code is little bit smaller and requires a little modification like replacing a mobile number. Well, that's all from the video. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new.